name is Diana and during today's demo session we will be reviewing a simple integration between Azure DevOps pipelines and ServiceNow. More specifically, we will be transforming Azure DevOps builds to ServiceNow incidents. The first thing we will see after signing to the DevOps platform is the dashboard. Here we are provided with crucial information about our accounts, licenses and integrations, like the current number of our upkeep integrations, number of operations, connected systems, and the cell health status of both the systems in the integration platform. The first step for us is to visit the system section in the upper bar to connect the systems which we would like to use for our integration. In our current use case, they are Azure DevOps and ServiceNow. After clicking on Add a new system, we are provided with a list of all the systems currently available for integration with the ZDOPS platform. There, we can pick Azure DevOps as our first system, and ServiceNow as our second system. For each of the systems, ZigiOps requires us to fill in data such as instance URL, username and password, authentication or security token if needed. This allows ZigiOps to connect with each of the systems and collect preliminary metadata which will be later used for the integration configuration. Once we click on Save and test our connection, we're good to go. The next step is to visit the integration section. It can easily be found in the upper bar of the ZigiOps platform. After clicking on Integration, we can choose one of ZigiOps predefined templates. Have in mind you will also be able to import and create your own custom integration templates. This way you can define your integration requirements from the ground up. Next, we can go ahead and visit our main integration page. It will include our systems, Azure DevOps Pipelines and ServiceNow, the data type we are going to sync and the correlation logic the ZigiOps will use. Then, when we click on Save, the connection between the two systems will be established. We can also pick our trigger and trigger conditions and I'll also add some filters. Now, let's see how the integration works. Here we can see Azure DevOps and ServiceNow instances. We can run a pair built in Azure pipelines and see how ZigiOps will log it into ServiceNow. We can see that there is a newly created incidence from a failed Azure build in ServiceNow. We can also check the details surrounding the failed build that are locking the ServiceNow incident. This was the demo that we have prepared for our session today. If you need to connect Azure DevOps pipelines in ServiceNow or any other system, feel free to book a demo with our tech team. Thank you for watching and until next time.